Hi, it's Ann. Today I'd just like to do a really short video about uh, animal rescue videos. Now I named this channel uh, Ann's Animal Rescues because all of our animals came from bad situations and I like to think they have a really good life now with us here. But there are videos out there and sometimes they originate in the United States and sometimes they originate in other countries. And they like to show these dramatic uh, animal rescues. And they will actually injure the animal or put the animal in a dangerous situation so that they can film themselves rescuing the animal. Okay, I have uh, heard of these videos. Um, one is where they'll glue things to a face of an animal so it looks like the animal's covered in ticks or something. And really what they've glued on are seeds. And then they'll show themselves like they're pulling all these ticks off. But they're really pulling seeds along with the fur that's getting yanked out of the skin. And they're hurting the little animal, the kitten or puppy or whatever it is. Another uh, way they're doing it is they will put this animal in a terrible situation. Like maybe setting them into an open oil barrel that's full of oil or sludge or something. Or dirty rainwater. Where the animal's paddling around trying to get out. And then of course they'll make it look like they just came across. They just happen to be filming, right? They just happen to be filming and they come across, here's an animal drowning in an oil barrel and they take the time to film this animal struggling. You know, would you do that? Would anyone who cares about animals be filming something? No, you'd grab and get that animal out of the dangerous situation. You wouldn't even think about filming it. You know, I had to go out when a lady contacted me about a small rabbit. It's our Eddie Mars. He was running around in some neighborhood uh, backyards right next to a busy highway. And I ran around trying to catch this rabbit crawling under bushes and running between walls and garages and squeezing in. It's getting all scratched up. But nobody was filming it. I wouldn't even think about filming that. I might, My goal would be to get him as quickly as possible. And I did another video about box turtles that we took off busy highways down south on a trip. But I would never be saying, okay, let's stop and then you film me while I'm running out into traffic to try to get this box turtle. You know, you come across an animal in a dangerous situation and you'd stop and hurry to get... You don't have time to be filming this and you would not be filming this kind of stuff unless you're trying to make it look really dramatic. Now, why are these people doing this? Well, it's because they want the likes, they want the views on uh, Facebook or on YouTube or they might even be so bold as then to ask for donations. Um, don't give them donations. Don't watch these videos. You're only promoting them and encouraging them to do more of them. Now some of these ones that originate in other countries might show the same poor animal being rescued in different videos. And it's just animal abuse. And what happens to this animal at the end, no, they don't care about it. They're just using it as a prop. Um, there's one about a dog stuck in some sticky tar. And this big dramatic thing about getting the dog out. Now, I haven't watched that. I don't know if it's real or not. Um, but I don't think somebody's just going to stand there filming this dog struggling you would call the police to help you get this dog out. You know, get somebody to bring some boards there so you could walk out and pull the dog loose. And then after that, you'd probably want to take the dog to a veterinarian. That's another tip-off that these videos are fake. Because these animals, after being rescued or they're, they've been injured, or they, you, they never go to a veterinarian for care. 
you know, it, the video just shows the ending and that's it. And sometimes they're filming the animal apparently when he's in good condition before they do this to him. And then they put that filmed part at the end of the video. So it looks like, oh, now he's all okay. But really, he's not okay. He might end up with broken bones. You know, uh, might end up dead even. So when you come across and you're searching through animal rescues, and a lot of people like watching animal rescue videos because it's, it's a good feeling to know someone helped an animal and then that they're okay at the end. But be aware of these fake ones and don't give them your time watching or donating because you're only encouraging them to do more of these videos. And there's always going to be some rotten humans that are going to exploit whatever situation they can to benefit themselves. So I just thought I'd make this short video about that. You know, I didn't realize, I guess, how, uh, how many of those are out there. You know, I, I guess I always assume that somebody's going to do something like that because that's the way a lot of rotten people are. But I've never, I, reading articles about it, I didn't realize how much of it is out there. So just be aware of that. And it can also show up on these animal comp compilation where they compile uh, different videos. You know what ones I'm probably talking about where they have different videos from all different people and situations. A lot of those are legitimate. Some of them are not. And uh, people have asked, like, what can you do about it? Well, you can complain to e uh, YouTube and you can also complain to Facebook, but they're not going to do anything about it. So the best way is just to not watch those videos. Okay, that was my little short blurb today. I'll see you next time.